This math challenge is about representing big numbers. So we're going to try some of our higher double digit numbers and we're also maybe going to try some triple digit numbers and maybe even a quadruple digit number like 1000. So the story I want to share with you today is called How Much, How Many, How Far, How Heavy, How Long, How Tall is 1000. I know some of you love talking about really big numbers and might be ready for a challenge like this. If you feel like you're not, enjoy the story, give it your best shot. It's totally up to you. How much, how many, how far, how heavy, how long, how tall is 1,000? On a clear night, away from the brightness of a city, the sky is full of stars. So many, you probably can't count them all. How many do you think there are? On a warm day, a hillside is often sprinkled with yellow dandelions. Could there be 1,000? What does 1,000 look like? If you collect 1,000 acorns and put them in a pile, the pile won't be very big. But if the 1,000 acorns grew into oak trees, they'll make a whole forest. 1,000 sheets of paper neatly stacked make a pile about as high as four thick books. But if the wind blows the paper around, 1,000 sheets will litter an entire neighborhood. 1,000 people sitting in rows will fill a small hockey arena. But if the 1,000 people are all waiting to get in, the line they make will stretch out the door down the street and right around the block. How much is 1,000? Is it a lot? That depends. If you don't like freckles, 1,000 of them is a lot, but when it comes to hair, 1,000 isn't very many. 1,000 bricks seem like a lot. Could you build a house with them? 1,000 bricks would only make a teeny tiny house with one very small room. Would this be enough space for you? What about 1,000 french fries? Could you eat all of them? Even if you loved fries, 1,000 would be too much for one person. You could share them. A single serving has about 40 fries. How many friends would 1,000 french fries feed? How much space do 1,000 pennies take up? Could you put them in your pocket? Probably not. Even if your pocket is quite big, even if you used two pockets, maybe if you used all your pockets they're weighing her down. How far is 1,000 steps? Would you be tired if you walked that far? If you walked the bases on a regular baseball diamond, 1,000 steps would take you around about, around about four times. But if you ran 1,000 steps, oh sorry, I'm going to start that over again. If you walked the bases on a regular baseball diamond, 1,000 steps would take you around about four times. But if you ran 1,000 steps, would take you around about 10 times. Would that make you tired? How tall is a stack of 1,000 pennies? Is it as tall as you are? A stack of 1,000 pennies is about as tall as an 11-year-old, but a stack of 1,000 dimes would be about as tall as a 7-year-old. How heavy are 1,000 cookies? Could you lift them? If you can lift a 2-year-old, you could lift 1,000 Oreo cookies, but 1,000 large oatmeal raisin cookies could be as heavy as an 8-year-old. That's a cool comparison of how much things are in height and in weight. We've been talking about that in math, too. How long is 1,000 minutes? If you start counting minutes at 6 o'clock in the morning, when you get to 1,000, it will be long past your bedtime. How long is 1,000 days? If today were your 7th birthday, in 1,000 days, you would be almost 10 years old. 
Sometimes 1,000 doesn't seem like very much at all, but sometimes it seems like a great many. So now that you know how much 1,000 is, what do you think a thousand thousands would be? It's a million. Which kind of brings me up to how do we get to a thousand? Now, when we talk about our base 10 rods and cubes, we can represent different numbers. So if I want to show 10, there's a 10. If I want to show a 1, there's a 1. So if I want to show the number 34, I would need 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. I can show that with my rods and cubes. Got them right here. 10, 20, 30. There's my 10s represented right there. And then I need my 1s. 31, 32, 33, 34. So there is 34. Now if I want to show 100, what would I do? Let's take a look. 100. Now I'm at a triple digit number. Zero ones, zero tens, one in the hundreds. Hmm, but I can show it with tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now the way we do show that once they all stick together is we show it with one big square. So this is one way I could show 100 broken down into tens, but I could also show it right here with one big flat. I'll show you what that looks like right now. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, halfway there, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Now this is why we show it like a square like that, because once we put all our tens together, we call this a flat, which was 100. How could I show 1,000? That is the challenge. How could I show 1,000? How many of these hundreds would I need to make 1,000? Now, if you don't want to do a big challenge of 1,000, I'd like to challenge you to try and represent some higher double digit numbers. For example, what might 58 look like represented in five or six different ways. What could 74 look like? What does 99 look like? Do you want to challenge yourself for some three digit numbers? What does 246 look like represented in some different ways? Number lines, rods and cubes, addition, subtraction, um, printing it, all the different ways that we've talked about representing numbers. So your challenge this week is to continue practicing representing numbers, but maybe challenge yourself to try some of these bigger numbers or even show a thousand. All right, have fun.